Hi, hello, my name is Jade and welcome to my YouTube channel. As you can tell, I'm still in bed and I do not want to get up. Um, I'm going to be completely honest. I did not go to sleep until 4 a.m. last night. And then I woke up at like 9.30, 9, when my husband got up to go to work. And then, like, I've been up since then. I just haven't got out of bed. And now it's, like, 11. I've been editing videos and, like, getting them scheduled to post. So, like, I haven't just been laying here doing nothing. I've been, like, working. But I did go downstairs to tell the boys to stop barking because they were barking. And then I locked them inside because I didn't want them barking at the people working. So, I, I did get up, but... <laughs> it's a very slow morning here. It's just because I didn't sleep. I can't sleep anymore. I've been going through, like, sleeping issues again. Which I feel like they come and go, so that sucks. But, I need to get up. I need to... I want to do my makeup today so I can feel good about myself. Like, a dress, do my makeup. Um, fold some laundry, I'm gonna make some coffee today, and then walk on the treadmill and do the dishes. That's my plan today. Let's see if I get it done. I want to at least fold one thing of laundry. I feel like I don't want to be too ambitious and be like, yeah, I'm gonna fold it out. No. I get at least get one basket done. But I want to do my makeup so I feel a little bit put together. Sorry, excuse me. Yeah. And I want to walk on the treadmill, like yesterday. Because I did, like, an hour yesterday. So, gotta keep going. That is my today today. Let's get it going, even though I don't want to. <laughs>
All right, so um, I haven't talked to you guys since this morning, and it's like, oh, I can't see the clock. I want to say it's like 6 o'clock now. The last um, I filmed, I was making a cup of coffee, but I have done a lot today. I cleaned my kitchen, like a really good clean. I cleaned the garbage disposal. I cleaned all the dishes. I cleaned all the counters, all that good jazz. I vacuumed the kitchen and um, I did the laundry. I cleaned the laundry room. I folded all the laundry. I started another load of laundry. And I, what else did I do? I broke down a bunch of boxes as much as I could fit in our recycling bin. And I feel like I did more. I did a lot of work today. I did a lot. I haven't been, like, from 11 to 5.30, I've been up moving and working and just, I, that's been all I've been doing. I haven't sat down. I've been doing so much. I've been jumping from different rooms. I've been, like, I folded the laundry and then I went upstairs and I did something and I came back down and did something. Like, I've just been jumping everywhere. I, like mop the floor, I vacuum the floor, like, I, I wanted to vacuum all of the floors in the house, but the wheels on our vacuum cleaner are so squeaky, they hurt my head so bad. I told you guys earlier that I did want to do some cleaning today, and I did do it. I wanted to actually film it, like, do time lapses, not, not necessarily time lapses, but like, um, what are they called? Like, transitions and stuff, like I used to. Like in my first videos, because those were always so fun. I won't lie, they take a long time, but they were really fun and I enjoyed them. Oh, by the way, I'm crocheting. They were, like, they took a long time, but I really enjoyed editing them and I really enjoyed filming them. That, those were always so fun to do. But after seeing what I, like, seeing the comments and stuff that I saw today, I realized that I just needed to... Put my phone away, listen to music, and just be by myself and distract myself and do what I needed to do to be okay. And that's okay. I am making a granny square right now. I kind of did a lot of work today and I didn't tell my husband that I was doing any of it. He asked me what I did today and I told him nothing, so I'm kind of hoping to surprise him when he gets home. That is actually one of my favorite things to do, for, like, with my husband, is, like, tell him that I'm doing nothing all day. And then when he gets home, him being surprised with, like, a bunch of cleaning or a bunch of stuff done or, like, a, something cool being, like, I don't know. I just, that's just one thing that I love to do. I get, is that a love language? Maybe that is. But that's just something I love to do like something that he doesn't have to deal with because he does most of the cleaning and the cooking in our life in our family in our life because I physically can't do it most of the time because I'm fainting and passing out fainting and passing out are the most of, most of the same thing and I can't get up and I can't move so those opportunities that I can do it for him I love to do it. I love to surprise him with it. I love when he gets to come home and he's like, oh wow, it's already done. And I'm like, yeah, surprise. Like, look, you don't have to do it. Or like, just look. Now you can just sit on the couch and relax and do nothing. So it always makes me really happy when I can do stuff like that. So yeah, that was fun. I forgot to take my medicine today because I was busy trying not to concentrate on other things. So I've been dealing with brain zaps all day. Like I've had brain zaps like since getting off of Zoloft, but like they've been a little awful, like a little bit more awful today, which kind of sucks. I read that brain zaps can last a few months, if not years. I'm really hoping that these brain zaps go away because I would like them to go away. I don't like how it feels. Also, I don't know if I told you guys yet, but my gynecologist appointment that I've been waiting on for four months, they canceled it. 
Yeah. They called me and they're like, yeah, we're going to have to cancel and reschedule your appointment because the provider has, like, this other thing that she's doing that day. And I'm like, really? They're like, yeah, sorry. And I was like, but what if I can't, like, do any other day? Like, what if that's the only day? They're like, well, we can't really do anything to help you. They're like, well, we're taking new patients in, like, April. And I'm like, I'm moving. Uh... They're like, well, we can try to get you in. And I was like, well, what's the soonest? They're like, end of February, maybe. So I have an appointment at the end of February now. Maybe. They, like, really told me. They're like, but remember, this is just a maybe. Your cancel, your cancel, your appointment could get canceled like it did this time. Like, there's no for sure appointments. And I'm like... How is there no for sure appointments? Like, this doesn't make sense. Like, what? This is frustrating. I was super sad when they called me and told me that because I was so excited to be able to talk to a gynecologist or, you know, a doctor that could tell me more about PCOS and give me a little bit more information or tell me like ways that I could help myself like diet wise or anything just give me more information on it and I was just kind of ripped away and I was I just I felt really defeated that day I don't know there's probably nothing she was going to be able to do for me anyways but just being able to talk to someone and ask like hey is there a diet that I can follow? Like, what do you recommend? Do you have resources that I can look into? Like, just, is there, like, anything that you can help me with? Like, I also wanted to get checked for endometriosis. Or, I, want, I know that I, that I can't just get checked in office like that, but um, I have some symptoms that um, go along with endometriosis, too. So I wanted to talk to her about going, about figuring out if I also have that as well. And that is just being pushed away too. So it's kind of frustrating. And with moving soon, it's like everything is being pushed back. And it's like, what is the even point? Because by the time I get to see these doctors, like every, all these doctors... Like, the first appointment is like, okay, yeah, well, it's great to see you, but we're going to have to do tests, and then we're going to have to see you again. And it's like, by the time the test appointment comes around, I have to move. So, like, what's the point of even getting the first appointment? Might as well just wait until I move, right? Well, am I being selfish? Am I just being an awful person right now? I'm so stressed. <laughs> I'm so stressed and overwhelmed and just I don't know I'm uncomfortable I'm confused I feel very alone I feel so very alone sometimes you just wish that there was someone that you could call and cry to that's what I needed today But then remember that you're a big girl. And the only person you could cry to is yourself. And you get up and clean your house. And cry to yourself and listen to empowering movement, music. And then realize that you're a bad bee. And you're going to be dealing with this for a long time. And that you can do it. I don't know, I feel very rambly today. I'm sorry, you guys. I haven't been sleeping. I don't know if I said that. I feel like I, I have I don't know if I've said it, but I feel like I've said it so many times. I didn't go to bed. I don't know. I remember, last time I remember looking at the clock, it was like 3.34. <sighs> and then I remember waking up when my husband got up at 9. And then I actually, like, fully woke up at 9.30. I didn't get up in bed until, like, 11. So. 
at my crochet squares. My crochet squares don't work. I do have a question. When I when we do move, I do have a question. Like you guys are gonna answer like right away. Um, when we get when we do move, would you guys want to see like the process? Cause I want kind of want to film it. Honestly, I'll probably film it. But like. Would you want to see the moving process and then, like, the travel? I haven't decided if I'm going to share with you guys where we're moving yet or if I'm going to wait until we've already gotten there. I, it's just, I don't know. I feel like it would be okay if we shared, but also at the same time, you know, it could be sketch. So maybe I should wait. I haven't decided yet, so. But I really wanna film it. You know, when moving time happens, videos might be a little sporadic until we get in our house. Cause I know housing is a long wait to get into. Ugh, who knows how long it's gonna Find a bingeable show to watch or something to listen to while I'm Crocheting. Look at that awful, awful granny square. Alright, I'm gonna go for a little bit. See ya.